78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, a few of y'all on Instagram sent me, a couple of y'all do send me the same uh, information about the grand arrival of Devin Haney versus Lomachenko. And you wanted my opinion about certain things that's been said. Uh, people hating on Devin Haney, this and this and that. Listen, bro, let me say this from the gate. Um, I'm a Devin Haney fan. I'm a fan of black fatherhood. Bill Haney has done an excellent job as a father. Raising his son, he got his son to this point. Everything Bill Haney been through in the streets, um, certain people, only certain people going to respect that and understand that. You know what I mean? Only certain people going to understand it and respect it. In this society, uh, they want you to believe that black fathers are not in the household. That's the stigma. A lot of these dudes that hate on Devin Haney are bitter because they see he has a father in the household. Not only a father in the household, but a father that raised him. A father that took him everywhere he go. A father that got him, that taught him a trade and got him from point A to point B. To now where he's his own man, he's undisputed champion of the world. A lot of dudes are bitter because a lot of these dudes low key. I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to nobody or unsympathetic to anybody's situation. But a lot of these guys don't even know who their father is, bro. They stay with their mama. They live in their mama's basement right now. Hating on Devin Haney. Hating on Bill Haney. Angry all the time. Because they don't know who their father is. So when they see a Bill Haney, they get upset because they want that for themselves. You see what I'm saying? They wish their father came to their basketball games. You know what I'm saying? They wish their father took them to boxing uh, gyms. They had to get it out the mud. They had to, you know, their mama had to work two jobs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Their mama used to work for a dude like me. You know what I'm saying? Money and Magic. Make sure I go subscribe to the OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com forward slash Money and Magic. Moving across the bottom of the screen right now. Triple X, you dig. Their mama used to work for a dude like myself. You know what I'm saying? And these dudes grew up, you know, they grew up hard. And I sympathize with them. You know what I mean? But I know what it is. As a ghetto psychologist, I know what it is. I can see right through these dudes' problems. So a guy like Devin Haney that's well-spoken. Did you see Devin Haney on the um, the Pivot podcast? That boy handled himself so well, so well-spoken. Great representation of a young brother. You, how can you dislike this man? Unless you're a hater, then you can look and see, find something in there that you don't like. Tank Davis can't even talk. Now, I like Tank. I ain't trying to, I'm ain't i not trying to turn this into a, a, a disrespect or roast Tank Davis fest because I like Tank Davis. He a brother too. But at the end of the day, Tank Davis just started speaking for himself. All right? Just started speaking for himself. Floyd and Leonard used to do all the talking for Tank. Tank just started speaking for himself two months ago. And we won't sit here and act like Devin Haney is hiding behind his dad or something else like that. These are tricks that they use to divide the black family. See what I'm saying? Same stuff they told the black woman. Oh, oh, your man. Oh, oh you know, you can't have no man in the house. Oh, you can't do this and that. Boom. Now we got the chaos that we got in this community right now. But anyway, I digress. I don't want to get too caught up in to the other stuff. Let me just stick to boxing for right now. Right? Devin Haney did a wonderful job at the Pivot Podcast. One Shout out to the brother who uh, wanted me to speak on the Pivot Podcast. He came on my show earlier and asked me to speak on it. I checked it out. Great interview by young Devin. Uh, all the guys was highly impressed by Devin Haney, his demeanor, how he carried himself. Uh, you could tell he'd been raised right. And I hope, I really hope Devin Haney goes out here and puts on a clinic against Lomachenko because he up against it, man. Not only do he got to face Lomachenko and all the politics that come with Lomachenko, with top rank and all that stuff, but he got to face these, 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 these weirdos, bro. It's a lot of weirdos out here. 
See, these weirdos come in the game pretending like they for black folk. Pretending like they for the black fighters. You know what I'm saying? Tricking y'all. But I don't fall for it. See, 78 been around a long time. See, he, he see these guys don't trick me. Pretending like they rock with the... They, they might pick a black fighter like Tank Davis and rock with him real hard. Act like they really support him. So y'all believe that they for the black fighter. Meanwhile, they pick other black fighters and absolutely try to destroy them. You see what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes is rooting for Lomachenko to beat Devin Haney. You got to ask yourself why. You know Loma and, and the Tank ain't never going to fight. You know that. If, if Loma beats Devin, you know Loma and Tank ain't never going to fight. If Tank beats, uh, excuse me, if Devin Haney beats Loma, we have a possibility of seeing Tank versus uh, Devin at 140 in one day. See what I'm saying? We have that possibility of seeing that fight. Why, why on earth would you stoop so low to root against Devin Haney in a fight of this magnitude? Unless, of course, you're just a hater. Them YouTube checks is nice. See what I'm saying? I be telling, bro, I know what I be talking about, bro. A lot of these dudes is bums. A lot of these dudes grew up in a halfway house, foster care, went to jail, got out, went to a halfway house, didn't know how they was going to make it. Everybody else looking out for them and shit, babying them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Treating them like little babies and whatnot. Then they, they discover the internet. They discover YouTube. If they troll hard enough, if they if they get themselves popular enough, you know, if they talk enough smack, somebody will notice me. If I come up with the right game plan, somebody will notice me. They come in pretending like they, they mess with you. They latch on to a black fighter. How many times did we see this during the Mayweather Pacquiao era? These weird old dudes pop up acting like they rock with the black fighters. They support Floyd so hard, but everything else they do don't is a contradiction. They rock with, with Floyd, but everything else is a contradiction. We've seen that all throughout the Mayweather era. So now we're seeing it with Devin Haney. These are the growing pains the young Dev got to go through. Uh, I'm rooting for him. I hope the young homie pull this through. I know what he's fighting for. I know what, what he's trying to prove here. I know what he's up against. You know what I'm saying? And I want him to be successful in life. He's done a good job so far. This kid ain't gotten into no trouble. He ain't out here embarrassing himself or his family name. He ain't doing nothing goofy. This young brother's out here conducting himself like a grown man at a young age. So that should be commended. You would think that would be respected and commended. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. This culture nowadays only support uh, the goofiness. <clears throat> you know what I mean? We support the goofiness because <clears throat> that's what the goofiness is what people relate to. You know what I'm saying? They can't relate to Devin Haney because, you know, just the other day, on Mother's Day, matter of fact, Sunday, I was by my mom's house, right? I'm out there barbecuing. Hold on while I blaze. I'm by mom's house barbecuing for her and my sister and my wife, right? So while I'm out there barbecuing, I'm tired. Little dude out there on his little scooter, little boy, about eleven years old. He on his little scooter, and um, he keep riding. He keep looking at me. He keep riding past, looking at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I mean, I'm thinking in my head, what the little dude looking at? You know what I'm saying? He keep staring at me. Is he hungry? Maybe he wants something off the grill. So after about the fifth or sixth time him riding by on his scooter, staring at me, I asked him. I said, Hey, little man, you want a burger? Because I figured maybe he hungry. You know what I'm saying? That's why he keeps staring at me. And he said, oh, no, but that was the, the opening he needed. He hopped off his, his uh, scooter, walked right up to me, started talking to me. Hey, you have any kids? I said, yeah, I got kids. <clears throat> I said, they're too young. I mean, they're too old to come outside and play with you, though. And my kids is grown pretty much. I said, and, and my youngest daughter, she's not here. You know what I mean? So my kids, you know what I mean? This is my mama's house. I don't live here. So he, you know, he was like, "Oh, I thought that's what he wanted. Maybe he wanted to play with my kids." He said, "Oh, um, uh, do you, how many how many kids do you have?" I told him, and he said, "Oh, I don't have no dad." 
I said, you don't have a dad? He said, no. I said, you, you don't. I said, you got a dad. You probably, maybe maybe you just don't know him or something, but you got a dad. You got to have a dad. And um, he said, my mama said, I don't have no dad. So now that's that's some politics I don't want to get into. Because I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to say nothing because I don't want his mama coming out here with her little bonnet on her head, snapping and stuff, if I tell this little dude something about his mama. Right? <clears throat> so little dude asked me, um, do I want to meet his mama? Now, I know what time it is. Little dude want me to meet his mama. He trying to find his mama a husband. He want a daddy. Little dude want a daddy, man. I understand what time it is. So by this, my, by the time me and him talking, my mom come outside. She hear the co- conversation. She hears some of the conversation. She come outside. She tell little dude. She know him from the neighborhood. She tell him go on down there, whatever. You know, long story short, you know, whatever. Little dude... <clears throat> Out there by himself, he want a father. These young boys want fathers, man. And and if these young boys don't get fathers, man, at an early age, they have a mentor, somebody to look up to. They grew up being haters, trolls on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? They they angry for no reason. They just as bad as these women. You know, you see these women that just come on YouTube and just bash black men every day, all day. They got nothing else to talk about. Just every day is some black man that didn't broke their heart. They go back to their father that wasn't there for them. It's men the same way. We can't forget about these men. It's a whole lot of men. Mamas that slept with a black man, got got them pregnant, the dude that ran off, and these dudes is bitter. And they see a guy like Bill Haney, they irritate it, bro. Bill Haney, he irritate these dudes, bro. It ain't because he, he look out for his son or he speak for his son. Man, these dudes hate the fact that he love his son because don't nobody love them. I'm being real with you. Saturday Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. And I'm up out of here, though. Deuces.